Hi guys, welcome back. In the vise we've got a fully mill competition heavyweight, size 12. Uh, and for the threads, initially we're going to be using a, just a globe right number 12. Just to form a, a wee butt. Uh, this is a just a standard kind of wet fly that I've used over the years. Uh, can be tied in loads of different variations, colour combinations. This is one that's done well for me, so I thought I'd uh, tie it up to show you. So you're just really creating a, a butt with the with the globe right. That's about right. Come back up and just whip the finish. Tie that off. Trim that away, that's that done. For the thread, we're now going to use a, a uni thread in grey. And this is an 8 I think. Yep, 8 So I've already waxed this this thread. So it might appear slightly lighter on camera than it actually is, I don't know. Trim that away. Uh, for the body, I'm going to use a combination of some Uni Myla. This is a gold silver size 12, and just some uni uh, French uh, wire, it's a small silver. You can do this in, in gold, I tie them up in gold uh, and silver, and sometimes I'll do a gold body with a silver uh, rib or uh, vice versa. Just just chop and change, see what works, uh, what works for you. Everything has its day. So we'll tie in the, tie in the uh, the wire first, and then we'll come in with our mylar tinsel. You want the gold side up. You're going to tie the whatever side you're wanting to show. You want that uh, effectively facing away from the hook initially. Show the butts, okay? That's right. Just try and run down a reasonably even. Uh, layer of thread on the body. Don't want it. It's a wee bit bumpy there, but don't don't worry about that too much. That should do us. Uh, get some super glue or some varnish. Just a little touch on the on the hook. It's a bit too much. Just something that's makes it a wee bit tacky. And then we start running our. Just press that down in the back here, Neil. Start start running your uh, tinsel down the down the shank. Tie that off. Trim away. And then bring your rib up. The rib's just there to protect the, the tinsel. Very easy to tie these. Just in terms of the colours and stuff, it's you know the, the kind of combinations are, are endless really. Uh, just gonna be twist that. I, I used to tie them. Really, just be a, be a black, uh, just be a black hen hackle. So yeah, now for, now for the hackle. Uh, normally, I would tie this just be a, be a black hen hackle. Uh, but the last uh, last few times I've tied these up, I've used this. It's just a, a light dun uh, cape from from Whiten. It's a genetic hen cape, uh, and the flies worked quite well. So for quite a few fish on it, so I thought I'll tie one up uh, just to show you, just to show you the different colours you can do. I mean, black would be the sort of traditional choice, uh, but sometimes, sometimes it's good to change these up. Have uh, lots of different colours. Catch that in. Trim that away. Let's give it a wee bend up. Kink it, that's right. 
Need my hackle pliers here. This is quite awkward because the camera is quite close to the device. Uh, so I'm trying to hit it. Just pulling the fibers back as you go. Probably three or four tons will get out of this. Let's Right. There we go. Catch that in. Just release that from the hacker pliers. I just like to draw everything back just before I break off. And just form the head. Oh. That should just break. Lovely. Let's work finish that. And that's a lot. I see it's not it's not just kind of standard standard wet fly as I see you normally it would be a black hackle. Uh, but this this works. It does work. Either that, or I'm just really lucky. So uh, I I give him a go. I'll find my varnish. I can varnish in that's out. Uh, I tie tie some of these up and give them a bash. Different 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 butts. Different. Uh, I've even tied it without the butt and had a wee uh, just a wee glow bright head, like a wee a wee. Uh, Hot spot in the head, just different things. I, I like to try different things. Uh, I'm always, I'm always chopping and changing what I'm using and trying. If something doesn't work, and you know, it doesn't work. But sometimes it's worth, uh, it's worth trying these wee things. So I, uh, thanks for watching, and see me, see you next time. Cheers.